Hi guys and welcome to Love English. We have a great lesson for you today. We In do. fact, one that a lot of people have actually requested. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to be looking at gerund and to infinitive. Yes. Basically, verb patterns that follow other verbs. Mm -hmm. Now lots of you might be thinking, what's a gerund? Now a gerund is a verb in the ing form. So this means that basically the verb is doing the job of the noun. Mm -hmm. So the verb is behaving like a noun in the sentence. So for example, if we look at this sentence, dancing is good for you. There, dancing is the subject. So dancing seems to be doing the job of the noun. Okay, so yes, in that case guys, when we have a verb at the beginning of the sentence, it's doing the job of the noun, so we have to put it in ing form. Yep, and that's okay. always the case. Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. we've got ten verbs for you guys, which are only can go with gerund, so can yep. only go with the ing form. And then we're going to look at ten more verbs that can only be followed by two infinitive. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. So no more excuses for making mistakes after no, this video. No, the verbs we have chosen are specifically because a lot of you do make mistakes with them. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? So I'm ready. Okay. So Sabra, I'm going to ask you to look at the verb enjoy. So enjoy. I enjoy cooking sometimes. Oh. What What do you enjoy cooking? Um, paella. Oh, that's fantastic because <laughs> I I enjoy eating it. <laughs> what a coincidence. Okay. Right, Leila. My one for you is admit. Admit. I admit. Eating your ice cream. <gasps> you. I knew it was you. It's no lock on my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. For you, practice. So I practiced doing yoga yesterday. Ooh, doing very yes. healthy. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Yeah. So for you, Layla, I have give up. Give up. I gave up eating chocolate. <laughs> a really good point to make. First of all, give up a nice phrasal verb for you guys, meaning to quit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also we've got the preposition up. Yes. Now, it's important to remember that 99.9% .9 of the time, after a preposition like up, mm, in, on, on over, under, oh, yes. over, under, yeah, <laughs> then we would usually have a gerund. That's okay. right, yes. So, guys, you might say, for example, I depend on getting some extra money. Depend on. There yes, we go. Or Brilliant. I depend on seeing you soon. Suggest. <laughs> Guys, you get this wrong all the time. Mm. Listen to Sabra. I suggested going for a pizza after work. Ooh, good yes. suggestion. <laughs> okay, so suggest. Gerund. Yes, okay. always with a gerund. So, Leila, for you, I've got can't stand. Can't stand, meaning really don't like. Mm. I can't stand waking up in the morning. <sighs> Who can? No. Not Nobody early. Can early stand. in the morning, no. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, a great verb for you. Fancy. This was in our Valentine's it was. lesson. Yeah, if you haven't seen that, guys, go to that one. That's mm -hmm. a nice, fun lesson. So, in our Valentine's one, we talked about how fancy can be to fancy someone. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we're talking about what we fancy doing. So, oh, it goes with the verb it, and goes in ing. Yeah. So, I fancy visiting Paris. Oh, I fancy going to Paris. Lovely. Yes. I fancy <laughs> joining you. <laughs> Great one. Okay, so next one for you, Leila. Hey, um, imagine. Imagine. I imagine winning the lottery. <gasps> I can take you to Paris. <laughs> Keep imagining, Leila. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay, so for me? Uh, mind. Leila? Do you mind uh, doing my laundry for me? Yes, I mind doing your laundry. <laughs> so, in this case, guys, we can have do you mind or would you mind mm -hmm. or I wouldn't mind. So, in any of the forms, we would put mind and it will be followed by ing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And last one for me? Mm, avoid. Avoid. I avoided doing your laundry. <laughs> <laughs> you avoided exercising? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and giving up chocolate. There we go. I avoid a lot of things. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, guys, so that was our 10 verbs that only can go with a gerund. It's important to point out that there are lots more verbs that can only go with gerunds. Yeah. So you need to look those up, okay? You can do a Google search and then you can get a list which shows, in fact, we can put it on our Facebook page. I think we will, yeah. Yes, so the verbs which only go with ing and only go with infinitive. So in a second, we're going to be looking at 10 verbs that can only go with the infinitive. Okay, you ready? Let's Ready? go. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's look at some common verbs that are followed by to and infinitive. An infinitive verb is the first form, the base form of the verb. Yes, so for example, the verb to be. To be or not to be. To be or not to be. Yes. 
So, Layla, I want you to give me an example with afford, please. Afford. Okay, I can't afford to buy that dress. <gasps> Very sad, sad times. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you give one to me, please? Uh, oh, want. Right, I want to go on a date with Brad Pitt. Good luck. <laughs> Getting a bit old for He's you single. Now. Single yeah, now, true, you know, true. better than Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So for you, Layla, I've got to seem. Seem. You seem to be better. I do feel better. I wasn't very well before, but yes, I do feel better. So for you, I've got um, choose. Choose. I chose to eat chocolate. <laughs> There's How a theme. How many examples with chocolate? There's a theme here. Layla's yeah. world is just all about chocolate and lotteries. Yeah, great world. Okay. In mine, it's just Ryan Gosling and Brad Pitt. Mm. Okay, for you. Oh no, for me. Yes. I'm getting confused. Who was it for? Turn. <laughs> Hang on. So I gave you choose. Okay. So. Okay. Ask. I asked um, to get a pay rise. I asked to get a pay rise. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Yes. So for you, Layla, agree. Agree. I agreed to do the washing up. I was going to say you agreed to do my laundry. No. <laughs> Don't do laundry. Okay. Okay. And for you, expect? I expected to hear from you earlier. Ah, mm. okay. Mm. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, and for you, hope. Hope. I hope to win the lottery. Oh my God, Layla, change the record. We're getting <laughs> bored. For you, manage. Manage. I managed to um, find the ingredients. To what? Managed to find something. I managed to find my glasses. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. okay. Manage is a verb that means you do something where there's some difficulty yes. involved. Yeah. So, like finding something that you've lost or doing your homework. I managed yeah. to do my homework. Passing a test. Mm -hmm. I managed to pass the test. That's a good example. I managed to climb the mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything like that. Okay. okay. And last and one. And the final final one for you. Decide. I decided to go home early. Very boring. Okay, guys. So at the end of this lesson, you will find some exercises for you to review and practice using gerund and to infinitive. Mm. The answers will follow. No more making mistakes. Please don't. No want doing. No, nope. no suggest doing. <laughs> okay, guys, we are also in our part two of gerunds and infinitives. We're going to be looking at verbs which can either be followed by gerund or infinitive. Yeah, <gasps> tricky verbs that can go with either. Mm -hmm. And the meaning changes depending on which verb they use. Yeah. So we're going to be looking at those, guys. Bit more so, difficult. So, yes, watch the next part if you want to know that. Okay, thanks we'll for see watching. see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.